Hey guys, here we are in the Mazda MX-5 at Summit Point Raceway, and I just wanted to show you the first lap of my race, and why I don't do rookie races anymore. Hope you enjoy. Yep, as you expected, just running our own race, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, come, from a mile back, we get dive-bombed and absolutely destroyed. So, let's uh, watch it from TV View first, and then let's analyze what happened. So, uh, here's the incident from TV View. That wasn't actually the best angle. Let's see if we can get a better angle here. And finally, TV3. This is the perfect time to insert your came in like a wrecking ball music so yeah we got taken out like a wrecking ball so anyways let's check out uh, what caused this so i will say yeah getting run over like that we had no no ability to avoid it i mean i guess if we saw it coming we could have i don't know what cut through here i mean if we slowed down it's just like this is not something that anyone should expect or try to react to getting absolutely killed but anyways let's go back to see what caused that so if we go back here, you can see Marcelo is way back here in 10th, um, and he's following another car pretty closely. And as we get into the braking zone, he goes to the left to try to make a move. It's kind of covered off, and this car arguably brakes a bit early, but I'd say he somewhat moves under braking because this guy's going to the inside, trying to commit, and this person, this orange car, who was initially on this right-hand side, you can see way to the right-hand side of this like dash line, starts moving over and this person has nowhere to go. So I'd say the person, this guy either needs to break later if he's gonna switch under braking or he needs to hold his line. But because he doesn't, because this is a rookie series with people that just don't know how to do, uh, control their car under braking, especially on a first lap where you, should, where you should expect aggressive moves, a huge defensive move like that out of nowhere, no one can anticipate it. And of course we get killed from it. So yeah, just a very easy one to blame on this, in my opinion. Even if this guy broke too early or earlier than expected, he's moving from this right-hand side over to the left. Obviously this is like a corner where the car is going to slide over but I feel it's pretty clear his indication is trying to stay to the right-hand side, and then once he sees someone going, like, off to the left, I mean, this guy, he's barely leaving a space here, and this guy is really struggles to anticipate it. So let me know your thoughts on who's to blame. I'll play that one more time in full speed from on board, the way you can let me have a better perspective, but, uh, yeah, I think it's the car in front's fault. Listening to the onboard, it actually sounds like this guy gets on the brakes a bit late, so that might also be a bit of a factor. So, yeah, who knows? Either way, this guy ended up surviving. He actually ended up beating us in the race by three seconds. So, the fact we got spun out and punted and only and came back to within three seconds, I guess that's a small win. But, uh, yeah, don't think I'll be running any more rookie races soon. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts, and see you next time.